This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hi, we're Steven, Jess, and Little Hunter. And for the past six months, we've been living out of our self-converted van as we travel around Australia. Should you brush brush? Mm, no. <laughs> Bringing up a small family in a van wow. definitely has its challenges. I don't even know where to start. Hey everyone, you gave us such incredible support over our you morning look? routine with Hunter and so many of you asked, what's it like? with your evening routine. So we've gone and done that video for you. So we hope you enjoy this little fly in the wall episode. Plus to give back to you guys over on our shop, we're running a bit of a Christmas sale. Was meant to be for Black Friday. But of course we apologize that this video is a little bit late. You'll find out later on in this week why we've got an exciting announcement. But over on our shop for our late Black Friday sale, it's 50% off. Biggest sale we've ever had on our shop. So that's for our one tap photo editing presets that work on your computer as well as your phone. If you've ever wanted to learn anything from us, we have a whole academy. So I have a course on how I edit vlogs, which I teach you. Plus, if you've ever wanted to grow an Instagram account or earn money from it, we have all that over there for you guys as well. So we've extended the sale by 48 hours just for you guys, because of course this video is a little bit late and I hope you enjoy this video and stay tuned for later on in the week for our little exciting announcement on why we've kind of been missing for the last couple of weeks. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hey, everyone. So uh, the last time you saw us was right here on the Gold Coast. <laughs> Hitting up all the roller coasters. And um, on today's adventure, I think, <laughs> oh my God, I already miss it. <laughs> On today's adventure, I think we're going to be heading to our fourth state on our big lap around Australia. What's this coronavirus quarantine? Road closed. Prepare to stop. Oh, wow. Let's see if they let us in. Seeing these border closures, are we allowed to go into New South Wales? It's getting more and more interesting. So. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Thank you, Hunter. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we may have a, a new addition to to Cooper the van. Is Scooby coming with us? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Does Scooby want some? <laughs> Does Scooby want some? No, 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 no. Scooby's gonna have some sushi. Oh, quickly! So uh, it looks like today's video is starting off in the parking lot of a theme park, eating some sushi, and uh, we don't really have a plan on where we're going today. The only thing we know is that we are considering crossing the border into New South Wales. Should we do a cheers? Cheers. Cheers, Hunter. Ding, ding, cheers. Mm. Cheers, girl. I totally wish our tickets hadn't expired. I would totally do just one more ride. We actually haven't stayed in Cooper for about a week now, so we had Stephen's sister come into town. So we all stayed in our hotel, had fun in the Gold Coast, and uh, let's just say I think we've moved back into a very messy van. It honestly feels so good to be back on the road again, back in the countryside, because we've pretty much been in cities for at least the last couple of weeks. And I'm just looking out at the rolling green hills. There's cows, there's alpacas, there's horses all around. It feels so good to be back in the countryside. Sleep lay a house of stone, but never alone. You can make a tender one. So we're just coming up to the border now, and we've crossed, I think, four or no, three borders since we started our road trip. Welcome to the Northern Territory! Come on, Hunter, let's go to Queensland! Come on! Come to Queensland, quick! And we're seeing all these signs saying that border is closed, which is interesting because at the moment you can't go from New South Wales into Queensland, but we thought we wouldn't have any issue. What's this coronavirus quarantine? Road closed, prepare to stop. Oh, wow. Let's see if they let us in. So yeah, at the moment you can't go from New South Wales into Queensland, but we thought we might be able to go into New South Wales. Yes. I see police. Okay. We'll ask, are you allowed to go in if you want to go this way? Hello. I've seen these border closures. Are we allowed to go into New South Wales? No. No, we're not coming back. We oh. can leave. <laughs> you just care about us coming back in. Yeah, which is fine because we live in the van anyway. Yeah. 
No, no, that's we totally understand that. That's fine. Okay, no problem. Um, can we get a photo in front of the sign before we leave? Is that okay? Oh, there's yeah. a cup. Let's can I go call park here? here. Thank you. I love that. <laughs> you can. That's so funny. You can come in, but you know you can't come back, right? <laughs> well, technically, we are because we want to go get a photo. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Should we walk into New South Wales? Ready, let's go. Come on, new state. Let's do it. Once you guys walk in. <laughs> okay, come out. See ya. <laughs> Welcome to New South Wales, everybody. <laughs> hey, madam, you can't come back in. Come on, come on. <laughs> So uh, there's no turning back now. We've officially crossed the border into New South Wales. So there was road closures, but uh, only on one way. Yeah, if you guys haven't been keeping up with how Australia's been dealing with the whole pandemic, is that we've almost been like seven little countries mm. self-governing. So some states are closed off to other states and it's not reciprocal. So yes, we can go into New South Wales, but there's definitely no turning back. And it honestly was a little bit sad. There was this family, lived in Queensland, New South Wales, had a chat to us, so friendly. It's great! Yeah, thank you! She's loving it. She's oh, loving it. And now it's so cool, and now she's so big. And <laughs> yeah, she walked at Uluru oh, for the first time. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. That's and they just come and meet at the border and talk to each oh, other. Is that what they were doing? That's what they so were meeting doing. their family. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm hoping, I think they're saying that the borders might be opening soon, though. Yeah, for Christmas, I think. Yeah, because New South Wales cases are dropping by the day, aren't they? Yeah. And I think they're double vaccinated by about 90% in this state, which is amazing. Um, but I'm excited to go check out. Besides Sydney, really haven't done anything in New South Wales, but I've already fallen in love. It's got these green hills, so cool. There's a little cow with a little calf having a bit of a drink. Ah, hello, New South Wales. It's getting more and more interesting. So normally, when I look for a place to stay, I use an app called Wiki Camps, and every time we've used it, it's been great. And then today, I've decided, oh, you know what? Let's try something new. So I'm using this app called Hip Camp, and it's more people have properties, and then they kind of turn a little area into a campground, so you can um, use part of their property. And it looks so beautiful. And I've booked it, and now we've arrived, and there's no one there, and no one's picking up. And I'm scared we're gonna get murdered. And Stephen wants to go check it out. You're going over. I'm too scared. It had like good reviews. That's it had thing. so many but, good like, reviews. But like the host isn't answering. We and struggled to find it. I just was driving. I was like, I think that's it. Go in. Go in. And I'm going to stay here with Hunter. Okay. Lock the doors. Oh my god. <laughs> We're like so dramatic. <laughs> I think we should just go. I'm too scared. Hi. Stop Anita. Leave a message. Thanks. Benita doesn't want us to stay. No, Benita doesn't want us to stay. <laughs> Alright, let's stick with Wiki Camps. Alright. I love it. So, we had all intentions in this video to be the video to show you what our afternoon night routine is with Hunter, and it is currently almost 4 pm, and we still haven't found a place. But hey, I feel like sometimes days look like this. Sometimes you rock up at a really freaky place, and no one's picking up, and then you're like, why do we even book this place? Alright, where do you want to stay? <laughs> not, I want to stay at Bonita's. <laughs> well, Bonita's not big enough. I want fajitas at Bonita's. We have a no. I can make you fajitas, but it's not going to be at Bonita's. <laughs> There's like no places nearby as well. We've driven all the way out. Wait, I found a camp. Should we go to Queensland? Oh, yeah, let's go back to Queensland <laughs> already. <laughs> We're stuck here now. Alright, I found a campground. Wait, wait, wait. Hip camp? Wiki camp? Wiki camp. I'm looking at wiki camps and I found a campground nearby. And the recent review said cute little town, cows galore, and if you're lucky, you may spot a platypus or two. Oh, I want to see a platypus. I That's know. cool. Let's go there. Alright. Oh, did you see our messages? Oh. Oh, we thought that. No, I'm so glad we ran into you. Did you see we had booked tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, amazing. Okay. Are you getting up that? All right, don't worry. <laughs> Poor Cooper. Okay, I take everything I said about Benita back. She was lovely. She actually saw us driving away and she was like, wait, stop. And she's let us in and her property is so beautiful. We are staying right on like a little lake on her farm. There are farm animals everywhere. Hunter 
is loving it. So I think it's time to light a fire, cook some dinner and enjoy. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I love normally it's me cleaning up while Hunter makes a mess. So Benita's place, completely off-grid. We don't have electricity, we don't have access to water, so luckily Cooper's all pretty much sorted for all that. We should be topped up on solar, we should be hopefully topped up on water. I'll see that because we haven't been in Cooper for a week, but I'm going to be on fire duty so we can get some dinner because it's four o'clock. It's getting almost into witching hour and we'll explain what that is soon. Oh yeah, if you guys missed our van tour videos, we've got these kind of insulated blackout blinds that we pop on all the windows. Instant setup, fully magnetized. It just means that we can just black this out so when we do go to bed, there's no light coming through. I just realized past Stephen, this is like five months ago, Stephen. We did our first ever fire. It was day one of van life. And we've yet to do a fire ever since. Because we just went through the NT, no fires allowed. Queensland, where we're going, a lot of places with no fires allowed. Here in New South Wales, we can do a fire. But that means past Jenga, Stephen, has put it right at the back in the, I never use this pile, part of the van. There it is right where I left it five months ago. How's the fire going? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Let's go get dinner ready. We've come to watch. Alright. Here with some extra sushi. Oh perfect. <laughs> Love you sushi. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, up up up. I need to cut this wood. <laughs> I'm a bit impressed. I think it's a giggle hunter. That's pretty good. Oh, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Put that one down for me. Good girl. You want another one? There you go. Oh, that's a good spot to put it. And one more. <laughs> Pretty cool spot to have dinner tonight. Do you want to tell them all that the van is meant to be on here right now? <laughs> we uh, try to get Cooper up to the spot, but uh, he couldn't make it. He was too big. <laughs> Poor Cooper. So for dinner tonight, we are attempting to cook some burgers on the fire. I already feel like they're gonna go black and charcoal, but we'll try. <laughs> I love how we've been carrying this around for what, five months and we still have yet to use it. We bought this, planning to cook on the fire and tonight we're finally cooking on the fire. Ooh. Ooh. So the only reason we haven't is because every time I've tried before in the past, I've burnt it. Oh yeah, I forgot it rolls out. Look at this, Steve, ready? Oh, yes, I remember now. So I think this, you can like choose the height oh, that you want it. Yeah. And then you put this over the fire. Oh, Why cool. have we not done this before? Oh. oh my gosh, Steve. Let's see if this works. We just wanted to take a moment to thank our good friends over at Squarespace for their continued support of our channel and for making our little adventure around Australia possible. So if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform where you can easily put together a website or blog. As you guys know, we have been taking so many snaps on the road already and it's so easy to put together blog posts thanks to Squarespace's award-winning website designs. If you're thinking about putting one together yourself, it 
it is super easy and if it's a little bit daunting they have 24 7 customer support so if you are interested make sure you check out the link in the description below for your free trial and 10% off your first order of a website or domain now let's get back on the road Obviously, we're such noobs with flyers, but Jess has pretty much taken Hunter back to the van to just prepare the rest of the food, get the burgers ready, all of that, because it's probably easy if I'm just up here with the fire and a toddler running around. I'm waiting on a call from a friend from out of state that knows my name. And even though it's been a while, it feels. I've honestly missed this. Just being in the middle of nowhere. There's farm animals all around. I can just hear the roosters going off. Just got a fire going. I think this has been one of my favorite van days so far, even though it's been a bit of a roller coaster. This is why we do it. This is amazing. This is just, wow. <laughs> Lost for words. So at this time of night, it is a lot of tag teaming because Hunter gets hungry. Uh, we can wait and Hunter gets hungry so we kind of distract her ping pong style until everything's ready I've just kickballed the patties onto Jess and I'm gonna read her a book oh, my Mima loves me of course Hunter's grandparents on Jess's side loves to be called Mima there isn't a Mima book anywhere so we're to make our own oh, my Mima loves me oh is she a cupcake yum you have your way <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did it. Good work. Yep. This. Oh wait, no, not the mango. Look at these bad boys. They oh my so goodness. Good. But for Hunter, <laughs> we have. <laughs> She's excited. Here, junior mango. Oh, 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 okay, oh, okay. She's hungry. There you go. So for Hunter, she's not the biggest burger fan, so I did have some leftover satay tofu with brown rice and quinoa. And then she's having avocado, some tomato, and some mango, because we are still obsessed with the mango. But we wanna know, how did the burgers turn out, Steve? I realized there's a perk. So now that we've come into New South Wales, the times have changed. So we've actually gone ahead an hour, which means the sun will set later. So it means tonight we have to keep Hunter awake for an extra hour, but it also means we probably get to sleep in tomorrow morning. Oh, please. Because in Queensland, the sun has been rising at 5 a.m., which means we've all been rising at 5 a.m., which means tomorrow... We could rise. At 6 a.m. That's gonna be very nice. But burger time, are we ready? All right. Cheers. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. Hmm, luckily they're vegetarian. I'm not too sure if they're cooked in the middle properly. <laughs> that doesn't look very appetizing, does it? <laughs> Witchy now, you guys are probably wondering what it is. It's the time period between four and six when Hunter decides it's meal time, but she gives you like five minutes warning on when meal time is. <laughs> we call it the witching hour. <laughs> Hello. It doesn't even happen after she eats dinner. Then it's like the whole craziness of bathing her and getting ready for bed. You guys will see. Hello, Baba. It's a funny scene, Mom coming. Also, who's going to do the dishes? Because one of us is about to go do dishes <laughs> after I recook the burgers, and one of us is going to go take Hunter to go see turkey. So we have to rock, paper, scissors. Who's going to do dishes? Who's going to do turkeys? You did do all the driving today, but I still think we should do rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Pay, rock, pay. Paper, paper scissors. <laughs> it's paper, scissors, rock. It's paper, and you go on scissors, rock. And then you go on rock. Ready, Hunter? <laughs> paper, scissors, <laughs> rock. Oh, okay. And Hunter got rock. Paper. So I beat Hunter. And Hunter beat me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you go take her to Turkey's. I'm going to do the dishes. But first, I need to recook these burger patties. <laughs> You're too cute. Paper, scissors, rock. I win. Paper, scissors, rock. Hunter wins. <laughs> okay, take two. This is probably why Jess does the cooking. Well, we'll see. You were keen to eat a raw burger. Mm. Mm. Way better. Mm -hmm. Thanks, mm -hmm. Bob. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I sacrificed a little bit of my burger to get all my burger. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what are we going to go see? We're going to go see the turkles? Turkey? And they go 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 And what does the turkey do? Gobble 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 mum 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 What do you see? Go 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 one of the perks about being literally in the middle of nowhere with no other caravans or camper vans is that we can have an outdoor shower and nobody's around. I just realized Forever burn. I wonder if Benita's around. We're gonna show Dad Dad ready. What are you doing up there? Guess how she got up there. She did not. Did she climb? She just climbed up there all by herself. Hunter! Things are gonna get way more complicated with you soon. Yeah, so I just turned around and she's up here climbing and I was like, okay, I'm gonna assist her. Like just go like this, and she climbed up by herself, and I was like, oh my gosh, I like, can't turn my back on her now. As a dad, I'm pretty impressed. I want to see it myself. As a mum, as a mum, I'm terrified and uh, can never leave her alone. All right, do you want to have a bath? All right, might as well give Hunter a bit of a bath. I think she's had a lot of fun today. Oh, oh, oh and a rope socks. <laughs> All right, Hunter, we having bath time? High five? Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys after bath time. Welcome to the hardest part of the day. Getting a little hunter to brush her chompers. Do you brush brush? <laughs> no. Does hunter want to brush? Okay, hunter brush. Brush, 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 brush. Good girl, brush, 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 brush. We need a brush, brush, brush. Can I brush brush? Are you hiding? Can I brush, brush, brush? <laughs> Any parents out there, tips for brushing would be great. Hunter. Ready? And one, two, three. Ah! Ah! Hunter. Wow! Brush, 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 mommy's teeth. Daddy's teeth! Brush Daddy's teeth! And brush Hunter's teeth! Brush, 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 brush! Brush, 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 good girl! I love you, boy! I love you! I love you! She always gets extra cuddly when she's sleeping! Brushing teeth! Slimmy! Oh, cuckoos! Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? We're awake. So Jess has gone to have her shower. And uh, in the evening, it's a lot of tag teaming. So as I get a little bit done, Jess gets a little bit done. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> Hunter, you have all the pillows. Okay, good night. You have all the pillows, it's fine. I'll just go to sleep here, all right? Peekaboo! <gasps> Peekaboo! <laughs> Mom's back! Hunter, you look exhausted, oh my gosh. And where's Hunter? Oh, Peekaboo! Peek -a -boo. Where's Hunter? <laughs> Peekaboo! <laughs> What's the time? Why is she acting like it's like 10 at night? Oh, you know what I should show them? How I curl my hair. Oh, have you got your socks? No, <laughs> my socks. Where is it? I have like a little hack for if anyone is camping and wants to curl their hair without heat. 
I'll show you. I've been doing it for like a year, would you say? I would say so. I like Since having, TikTok. Yeah, I learned it on TikTok back when TikTok was got big at the beginning of last year. And they might want to know what I put on my phone. Oh, Are we getting into this? Do we want to know? <laughs> I'll just let you know, so at night, just in case, because I feel like some people might ask, I know this isn't like this type of channel, but people might ask. So I use the Clinique Moisture Surge um, Moisturizer, and then I put on Vitamin C Serum and Hyaluronics Acid Serum. I don't know, Cleo told me to use it, so uh, that's what I've done. Okay, I feel like this is like the best hack ever, so I had to show you. So I haven't put heat on my hair for a year, and I feel like this is a cool way to curl your hair if you're camping or something like that. So, all you need is a little bit weird, the robe string from your dressing gown, okay? And then you put it on your head like this. Do I look weird? You look cute. <laughs> okay, and then what you basically do is get your hair and put it into two sections. I feel like I need to post like a tutorial down below because I'm not going to be very good. Two sections, and then you twist your hair around the robe you see yeah you can see yeah after you've twisted it around the robe you just get a little hair tie and you tie it on the end and you do that to the other side and then you sleep on it and in the morning when you wake up your hair is curled it is amazing like the best hack ever <laughs> i'm just like well you've gone to bed yet hang on <laughs> oh it's a sheep can yeah. it say it goes bah bah sheep can you say ba? No. Good girl. Oh, that was really ba. Good. I know she's still trying to get the b sound. Can you say ba ba ba? Good girl. What is oh, she's <laughs> <around. laughs> Out came the sun, dried up all the rain. So the incy wincy spider climbed up the spout. Time. Let's do it. You are so. <laughs> Do you want your eye mask? Do you need your eye mask? There you go. Cover your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's your turn to go to bed, Baba. Do you want to have your eye mask? Good night, Baba. Good night, Babas. Where's Baba? Where's Hunter? Where's Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> it's mummies, isn't it? We put this on in the morning video, and I feel like people are going to ask why we use it. Okay. So it's called a sound machine, and we used it since she was little, and it kind of helps a newborn sleep. But we kept using it in the van because it drowns out any outside sound. So, like, I know in the morning the roosters are probably going to be going cock a doodle doo. <laughs> Hunter, what does a rooster say? Cock a doodle doo! <laughs> Sorry, I don't Not tonight. <laughs> So we put this on and it drowns out all the outside noise. Hunter, do you want to put, put on the sound machine? Here we go. And click it. Good girl. <laughs> Can you say goodnight to Dada? Goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose she's not normally this easy to put down. She's just exhausted. It's from the roller coasters. Yeah, it would That's be. why. So normally Hunter's super cuddly and she doesn't like us just putting in her crib. But like she likes to cuddle first. So normally I'll like with her. A few minutes later. We should have got the travel cot first. <laughs> she fell asleep so quick. So normally we put her in a travel cot and she goes to sleep just in the front. Now she's a fall asleep in the bed and the travel cot is so deep underneath the bed right now and it's not worth waking her up. It's not worth me doing it, not worth me waking her up. So she's just being cheek tonight. She's just gonna have to sleep Slumber in our bed. Slumber <laughs> Slumber <laughs> tonight. But normally she doesn't go to sleep this easily. Like this it was like a fluke on the day that we're filming. But it was the theme park. I'm exhausted. I, it's I'm definitely exhausted the theme park. I'm exhausted from mm -hmm. the theme park. So imagine her. Like we need to take her every... Okay, you know on those weeks where she just doesn't want to sleep? We'll just take her on a couple of roller coasters. She's good to go. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm pooped. We'll see, see you in the morning. Morning, sleep. I'm glad you see your doggies. This is where these winding roads have led. Oh, oh. I can see a day of gold ahead. Oh, oh. It can't be done, impossible, they've said. But I'll get there. I'll Pig 
Violet finds Mother Pig. <laughs> and then there are three. So, Sorry. people want to know the hair oh. reveal. All right, let me do the reveal. Hang on. <laughs> What a beautiful place to wake up to, by the oh, way. So oh beautiful. my goodness. When Hunter opened up the blind, I was like, wow, this place looks even more magical in the sunrise. You want it to be to read it? <laughs> All right, can Daddy read you the book? Yeah. Okay, you hold it. Come here, Daddy. Three, two, one. Daddy. Daddy. Again. And then you wake up to your hair. All curly. Can we read you that one? Come on. wondering how we make do living in a van without a toilet so when we're booking on like wiki camps or hip camps we just have a toggle that says must have some sort of bathroom in here this is a good old Australian dunny <laughs> let's go check it out so this is an outhouse pretty common out here in rural Australia it's literally just a drop toilet composting toilet so uh, you do your business and then just add some sawdust on top, but I have to admit, that view on the toilet is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> She's like running off. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing our night routine. Of course, a little bit different to our morning routine, but wow, waking up here has just made me re-fall in love with van life. And six months later, this is just what it all means. If you are new around here, hit subscribe and we'll see you next time. See ya!